All right, today is Saturday, April 29th. And <clears throat> just finished up a shoot. For a college graduate, went really well. And I haven't ridden my bike in about a week. Actually, just over a week. Because I've been sick all week. And busy, so... I'm excited to be on my bike for a few minutes, but I only have a few minutes because I have a daddy-daughter dance tonight in a couple hours, actually, um, with my girls. We're four and seven. It's my first one I've been to, so it ought to be fun. I don't know what all this rattling is on this bike these days. I need to stop and fix the seat real quick. Got my seat fixed. Uh, while I'm here, I just wanted to show this right here is the Troop 6 Scout Hut, which is right by my studio, which is over there. But it's a very special place for me and for my family. So my dad was a Boy Scout in the 50s. And he got his Eagle Scout in 1956, I think is what it says on the wall in there. Uh, right here at this, in this Scout hut. Um, and this, the, the hut itself, itself hasn't changed since then. So when I was in Scouts, I was here um, in the 80s. And it was exactly the same inside as it was then. And it still is today. And so my son... Two of my boys were in Scouts here um, as well um, up to a year or so ago. So the inside is really cool. Um, it's all wood. There's a lot of neat things all over the wall. The pictures are still there from way back when. There's, um, there's a, a wooden like Indian canoe, Native American canoe built into the ceiling. Um, upside down into the rafters all kind of neat stuff there but anyway so for this ride I'm just gonna kind of ride around the neighborhoods near my studio uh, just because I don't have time to go downtown I was hoping to go downtown today but I really am cutting it close on time and I haven't really eaten lunch I just have been missing my bike so out around some of these neighborhoods and uh, around Lake Bottom Park where Acoba Park there's a nice walking trail around this park but Really aren't supposed to have bikes on it, so I'm just gonna ride on the road. I may kind of weave in and out some, but I'm just gonna go this way. Cherokee Avenue, one of the main avenues in this city. It's where the Columbus Country Club is, and Lake Bottom Park, obviously. Uh, Columbus High School. baseball fields in the park as well as a track and a football field there's a band shell right over there it uh, has been there a long time I remember doing chorus concerts in the band shell there as a kid played in the band really but I was in chorus I'm 
I'm gonna cut up through this neighborhood. Um, some really beautiful houses back here. Interesting houses too, not just beautiful. They're all different. This is the Buck house, I think. So, Buck Ice and Coal. I believe that's their house. A lot of these are old houses. There's a few newer ones mixed in. This one up here on the left is obviously newer construction. It's really neat looking. It's quite a staircase going up the hill. about the same year as mine. I'm gonna turn around here because 13th Street, which is too busy. So back in the uh, stocking strangler thing in Columbus but it was a famous serial murderer named uh, I can't think of his name anyway it was the stocking strangler case in Columbus and there were a bunch of old ladies who were killed uh, mostly in this neighborhood Back in the probably 60s, maybe 70s. Here we are back at 13th again. Let's see, I'm gonna cross over. And there were really like elderly ladies, and this guy broke into their home and killed them. And some were from very prominent families here in town. So basically terrorized the city for several years. Carlton Gary, that was his name. And there have been multiple books written about it. Obviously podcasts and that kind of stuff. True crime genre. Um, he was put sentenced to death and, and put to death within the last few years after many, many, many years of speculation and trials and this and that. And there are plenty who believe that he didn't do it. And I think it was probably likely that he didn't act alone, which complicates the whole trial when it comes to DNA and 
blood types and all of that yucky stuff. One of the books written about him was called The Big Eddie Club. I read it. It's written by a British guy who came and lived here for a while for the purpose of writing the book. Befriended a lot of people here. And in my opinion, he was kind of fake about the whole thing because he really trashed our town and talked horribly bad about the people here and the society here and the culture here. In the book, after he moved back home, of course. So this hill here, he won't be able to tell in the video how steep it is. It's called Thrill Hill. And I remember my dad and plenty of people way back when used to ride their cars up and down this hill and catch some air probably on this hill right here but i mean that was just me coasting down the hill i hit 30 something just, just by letting off the brake without the motor the street from my studio and this is considered the lake bottom area still there's a lot of artists who live here um, it's kind of an eclectic old neighborhood the park district so this is virginia street of people back here you get prominent folks and poor folks and everyone in between It's a little bit questionable to be in. Another Mini Cooper. So this is 15th Avenue. We used to live a couple blocks from here. We lived on 17th in a house we rented for a little while. And then we bought a house on the 18th, lived there for five years. Um, and the interesting thing is like 18th is really you know nice well-kept houses 17th is pretty good and then you get to 16th and it's all gang stuff so overrun by gang control and i mean i've accidentally driven down that street a couple times and it was almost blocked off i mean all these people out in the middle of the road. That 16th going that way, not this way. And card tables set up, people, dice games, and just partying all day long. A lot of drug deals. But it just stayed kind of self contained. So as long as you stayed off of that street, you were good.
ride back down to the park again. So this is on the other side of Lake Bottom where all the ball games were going on that we heard a minute ago. And you'll see there's no park in here hardly because everybody is down there with their kids on the ball field. I'm glad that my family, we've never really gotten into childhood sports seriously. I know it's good for kids, but we have so many kids, they have each other. And they have a lot of friends and they're very active, but organized sports and going to practice every night and not coming home to after dark, it's not really our thing. And the overly competitiveness loop around the park head back to my studio because I don't want to be late to that dance the temperature is perfect today I could ride all day but I'm looking forward to doing, doing the daddy daughter dance with them so we used to live in the house on the other side of this roundabout kids that I would come get on this, this sidewalk and do loops. It was fun. This playground was frequented a lot by us since we were only two doors down. Nice playground. I grew up going to this playground as a kid too, but of course everything was all metal playground equipment and dangerous, more fun stuff back like then. Some good snakes in that creek down there. here and there's the really a practice field and a track that they use Columbus High School is right there across the street so they use this some um, a lot of people use it
getting hungry now. a brief little tour of some of Lake Bottom Park. Head back to my studio now. So we can head home and throw that dance. All right, that was fun. I wish I could have gone longer, but thank y'all for watching.